Change plan. To lampshade. Do you remember that simple skirt I was doing back in August 2021? And while I was working on it, I found out it has stains on it and paint stains as well i have seam ripped it i have taken it completely apart because this lamp trade saga has taken a turn i'm going to use this to refurbish the lamp shade now I just have to make sure I spot all of the places where there is stain or paint. Maybe I should watch the video I did back then. Maybe that can help me. I'm still working on this skirt. What is good? I have found a lot more spots than just the paint I discovered here while working on it and then this one that was up right in the center of the skirt I have also spotted the part at the pocket where there was some stain. Um, oh, where was we'll see it? I think it was here. There's a bit of miscoloration here. It's not that visible, but there's a paint stain there. Oh a coffee stain or whatever it is some of the paint i was able to scratch off but some of it i was not and i have marked it with the pink marker so i'm going to have to think about that when i cut out for the lampshade. Time to remove this so that the other fabric can be sewn on. After having ripped apart what I had already sewn on, I'm now ready to start over. I have made a pattern for the lampshade and I am now ready to um, cut the fabric. Um, I just need to make sure I'm not getting any of this pink marked on the lampshade before I cut it out. That was... Not so well thought of. Uh, but anyway, I have made a little model here. It's just gift wrapping. And um, I actually put the, uh, the lamp up on the wall. I'm just going to show you my uh, struggles getting the lamp up on the wall. And uh, just... If be warned, I happen to swear a little bit. I'm just so you know, 
Um, sorry. It was a bit of a struggle. supposed to do it. Hi. Uh oh. Oh boy. Fuck. Oh god. I hate this. Ah. This is all right. Oh, crisis. Now all I need to do is to smash the light bulb. Oh, didn't do that, did I? Okay. What? Well, is this one too big? No, it isn't. The very last bit. Come on, bitch. This is the pattern I made of the lampshade. So I have to find somewhere where there isn't any pink circles marked on it. And I think okay, there's a bit up here, but maybe I'm going to see if I can try this. I need to cut out the pocket. This was the first time, actually, that I did welted pockets. So I'm going to keep that as a little memory. But I think right here, maybe, I can manage to cut out. Yeah, I think this is good. I've now cut out the pocket and I actually do think apart from the uh, seam line from the hem of my skirt that this lower part here as the pocket I could use this I don't think I have anything pink marked on it I might be wrong. Are they upside down? Are the flowers upside down? Huh? 
I think I just need to check on Instagram if the flowers are upside down. I just need to cut out the shape from this fabric. But I have begun to doubt because this is the top and this is the bottom. I'm wondering if I just turn this, are the flowers upside down? I can't really tell. What do you think? Since I was unsure of the direction of the flowers on the fabric, I cut out a mock-up. I quickly stitched this on one early morning because I wanted to see how the light would shine through the fabric. It was nice to take a little break from the organizing and tidying up and going through my fabric stash and just sit and sew. It was very early in the morning. Moment of truth. Don't mind the strings and all, it's just roughly sewn on. It definitely needs lining on this lamp. I have now cut out the lining and I am pinning the sides together. Now I'm sewing the sides. This was probably not the wisest thing to do. I've sewn the outer fabric and the inner fabric together here and all the way down here and again sewn it together there. This is just folded in. Uh, I have to get the lampshade inside this. Um, yeah. I foresee struggle. Well, in order to get the fabric here on the lampshade, I should not have sewn together 
the edges. I should only have sewn together this part here. Um, I'm not going to redo this. I am tired of this. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, it's the holidays and um, I wonder if I actually made this wide enough. Well, um, oh crap, Mona. I had to seam rip the sides in order to get the fabric on the lampshade. Here I am stitching the seam allowance to the lining. This is um, not pretty. Am I going to change it? Nope. I seam ripped the sides, of course. I needed to do that to actually get this on. And up here, I just stitched like best I could, you know. Yeah, that's a bit difficult. But, um, yeah, this, this part has just been well, ladder stitch and, and whip stitch and all. And I just need to. Do it on the outside now, and I'm just gonna call it good. Ah, oh, horrible. That's nice. This looks really good. Perfect. That stitching is not the best. Thank you for stopping by my channel watching this video. I appreciate you spending your time with me. I'm glad that the lampshade is finally done. Now I can move on to doing some other things. I am still having video from the organizing, tidying up my apartment. So. Um, that will air in the future. There's also still the part that I recorded last year in November. But it's nice that the lampshade is finally done. In this video clip, I just tried to experiment with what lining would be best. So the uh, red fabric with marbles on it I put some iron-on interfacing thing. It did not work. But at least I tried. Remember to click the like button. And if you would like to stick around, then remember to subscribe. And set the little bell icon to be notified whenever I upload. A video. I hope that you are safe and that you have a pleasant day and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. No, it isn't it here. Now I can work on, I can, now I. Oh, found.